Sure. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young lady. Mm hmm. Char won't bother us here. She's far too busy writing poetry and crying about how much people prefer her sister. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. To be enjoying dinner, do you treat all your guests so poorly? You said you had something for the parasite. Let's ask this. My brothers, you saw them. Uh, they stopped by to pass on their congratulations. Said they'll be waiting for you at home. Uh, oh, but why didn't they come in to see me? All they left was a message, which I passed on, didn't I? Don't be stressing. And you, hush. Don't be upsetting the girl with such things. Hmm. She's not gonna have anything for the parasite. You cheeky thing. Sutton Farm, north of Baldur's Gate. Check if you like. But I think you have bigger problems. She can lie very well. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? I told you that girl is none of your business. Keep that hole under your nose shut. No. <laughs> I don't like this. What's really going on here? I'll talk about your wriggler, and that's it. Last warning. Should we ask this? Yes, because everyone and their mother is an expert on illicit scum. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? Mm -hmm. Well, that depends on the job. Removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. I pluck it from your head, kiss it for luck, then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm afraid that's my business, Petal. It's nothing nefarious, though. I promise. All right. Uh. A touch, but sure you have two eyes in your skull, don't you? No need to be precious. What is this with the eye and this game? That Olo does the same thing and this is also going the same way. Glorious. One moment and she needs her real nails for this. What creature is this? A witch. Much better. That human skin is fierce restrictive. So the brothers were right, you are a hag. You Close that mouth, precious, lest you swallow a fly. 
Not many get to see a hag in all her glory. Consider yourself blessed. Now choose which I will it be, right or left. Hold on to your knickers. This might sting a bit. Wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> oh, you do make me laugh. No, unless you want tentacles for a tongue, stay absolutely still. I've removed one of these buggers before, but it's a touch tricky. The parasite squirms at the hag's words. Pain builds behind your eye. You feel the creature writhe as it's dragged towards your ear. Then it bites back, burrowing even deeper into your brain. God's damn wretched! You little shit! You didn't tell me it was netherese! I'm not touching that! Filthy shadow magic! Brings nothing but chains and misery. How could I have missed that stink? Like blood and piss congealing on my tongue. Ah! Someone's tampered with your parasite. That's likely why you've not turned yet. Bless uh, us. Your snow is a wet week. That thing has been touched by more than mind flayers. You're a dead soul walking. I can't help you. What about it? I held up my end of the bargain. It's not my fault the Riglet's tainted by shadow magic. I want nothing to do with you or that scum in your brain. Mm. I'd kill you for that. But why deny your regular the pleasure? But let it not be said that Auntie Ethel doesn't honor her debts. Here, it's on you to fix yourself. Now get out! Never mind one that's been 